Praise the Lord. Uh, welcome again to uh, today's broadcast. Uh, we will be looking at Genesis chapter number 13. So um, we will be looking at this chapter, the whole chapter, but we are going to look at, look at it in two broadcasts. So this one, we are going to look at a few verses uh, and do some introduction. And then in the next broadcast, we are going to look at the last few verses um, uh, to call, you know, to, um, so that we can, uh, we can look and uh, get some lessons from the whole chapter. So to start with, uh, I'm going to read Genesis 13, verse number 8 to verse number 13. Uh, verse number 8 to verse number 13. So Abraham said to Lot, Let's not have any quarreling between you and me, or between your herders and mine, for we are close relatives. Is not the whole land before you? Let's, let's part company. If you go to the left, I'll go to the right. If you go to the right, I'll go to the left. Lot looked around and saw that the whole plain of the Jordan towards Zor was well watered like the garden of the, of the Lord, like the land of Egypt. This was before the, the, the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. So Lord chose for himself the whole plain of the Jordan and set out toward, toward the east. The two men parted company. Abram lived in the land of Canaan, while Lot lived among the cities of the plain and pitched his tent near Sodom. Now the people of Sodom were wicked and were sinning greatly against the Lord. Now we see here, uh, this is Genesis chapter number 13. So as a way of introduction, I want to remind you, in Genesis 12, God called uh, Abram and tells him to leave his land and he will guide him to a land where he would, he would show him. And so Abram, the Bible says, as we begin chapter number 13, Abram follows the Lord or takes the journey of faith with the Lord. But the Bible says, uh, in verse number one, when he went up, uh, when he when he left his land, Lot came with him. Let when uh, Lot, I mean Lot was with, uh, came with him, and Lot was um, was a relative of Abraham. So as they lived together uh, in the land, the land was not enough for both of them because they had a lot of possession. Abraham. God blessed. He had a lot of uh, wealth, uh, with gold and livestock, um, and, and and Lot was blessed too. He had livestock, you know, um, and other things. Uh, uh, he had a lot of possessions. So the land could not support both of them. You can read all that in Genesis chapter number 13. I'm not reading uh, verse 1 to verse number 7, but it, it it's a good introduction for you to read. What I want you to see is when they started quarreling, the workers, call them the workers of the laborers of Lot and the laborers of, uh, of Abraham, they started quarreling because there was not enough land for, for both of them uh, to, to live or to survive. So uh, Abraham came to Lot and said, we shouldn't be quarreling. The land is be be before us. Choose where you want to go. If you go to the left, I'll go to the right. If you go to the right, I will go to the left. So Abram, he took the higher position and gave guidance. What do you want to choose? Now, this is where we see what really happened. So today we will look at Lot's choice. Tomorrow we will look at what happened. Uh, or in the next broadcast, we will be looking at what happened when Abram and, and Lot separated. So to, today we look at Lot, tomorrow we look at Abram. And this is important. Verse number 12 and verse number 13. Um, verse number 12 and verse number 13. Um, the two men parted company. So that's the verse number 11. So Abram lived in the land of, the, of Canaan, while Lot lived among the cities of the plain and pitched his tent near Sodom. That's key. He pitched his tent near Sodom. 
Sodom was wicked. The people of Sodom were wicked and were sinning greatly against the Lord. And then verse number 10, this is what the Bible says. Lord looked around and saw that the whole plain of the Jordan toward Zohar was well watered like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt. Now this is what happened to Lot. When he was given a choice, he looked with his physical eyes. This is what I sometimes call walking by sight, not by faith. He looked with his physical eyes and he saw that the land was well watered. And so he chose that. So I think that's the first mistake that Lot made. He chose based on what he saw. And you know, as we say, looks can be very deceiving. So he chose based on what he saw. And I always encourage people not to walk by sight, but by faith. Because that's what the Bible teaches us. The just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. And we have talked about faith again and again and again. We have talked about spiritual sight again and again. So here, Lot looked in the physical and he saw that the, the land was well watered. And, and as we will see in the next broadcast, even though Abram gave Lot the choice, Abram was blessed. Because, as we will see in the next broadcast, blessings come from God. They don't come as a result of living in a good and well-developed country or in a good area where you can do farming. That's all good. But that's not, that's not how blessings come. They don't come because you live in a specific area or country or land. No, blessings come from God. The Bible says all good and perfect gifts come from above. Well, that's for tomorrow. For, but for today, so he made that first mistake. He looked by sight. He, he saw, he looked physically and saw that the land was beautiful. And then number two, another mistake that he made. The Bible says he pitched his tents near Sodom. Why is that a problem? It's a big problem, actually. And he, that's a, that was a mistake. Because the Bible continues to say the people of Sodom were wicked and were sinning greatly against the Lord. Now I want to ask you today, do you want to live among or in the midst of people who are sinning against the Lord? I want to tell you the result. That when that continued, God was angry and he came to destroy the city. It took Abram, the same man, it took him to intercede for the same person, Lot, so that he may not be destroyed together with the people of Sodom. Lot made two mistakes. He chose based on physical sight, and then he pitched his tents near Sodom, a city that had wicked people, people that were sinning greatly, against the law we are uh, we are faced with choices every day i want to encourage you don't make your choices just based on what you see don't make your choices based on that and secondly god wants us to live a holy life don't associate yourself with people who are wicked don't Associate yourself. Psalms verse number one. What does it say? Blessed is a man. And you can read. Blessed is a man who walks. Um, or you can. Um, um, that's a very famous um, Psalms. And, and I want you to go and check it out. Blessed is a man. Who does what? Blessed is a man. And one of the things is. Who sits not in the seat of the scornful, who does not associate with wicked people, with sinful people. God wants us to love all people. There is a difference between loving people and associating with them. 
That's what Lot did. He lived in Sodom all the way he pitched his tents near Sodom. And when God came to destroy the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, Lot was a victim. But because Abraham had interceded for him, God had the cry and the intercession of Abraham. And he saved him and his family, except his wife. Make a good choice. Walk by faith and not by sight. And make a good decision. Don't associate with people who can bring your downfall, with people who are doing against the will of God by choice. Thank you for joining me. May God bless you until we meet again. Amen.